Hey there, Ramblers and Rovers. This is Miguel. And today we are doing the Rio Barbas Reserve outside of the town of Salento here in Colombia. The Rio Barbas Reserve is very famous for its population of howler monkeys and for the beautiful nature that calls it home. So join us on this journey through the wonders of Colombian nature and the beauty of its animals and maybe you too can put this on your bucket list so you can come here and experience this for yourself and have your own rambling and roving adventure right here in Colombia. Let's get started. Today I'm setting off on this adventure with Turaco Tours who operate out of the town of Finlandia. Say hello, my name is Jairo Pino, I'm from Colombia. Uh, today we are in Finlandia, Finlandia Quindío. We we waiting for you. We invited you to come to visit us. Uh, this is an amazing uh, trip. So welcome to Colombia. So this one, is, and this one wow, we're brought after. To get to the Rio Barbas Reserve, we take one of the quintessentially Colombian Willis jeeps at Finlandia's main plaza. We then set off and enjoy the scenery of Colombia's amazing coffee region. Oh, welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. You have fun. So we're starting off on our journey into the Cañón del Rio Barbas. I can't wait to see the howler monkeys. We watch it. I mean. It's 80% just to watch them because they're not waiting for us. So we have to walk through the trails just to uh, try to find them. Arbas means bird. Bird. Okay. Yes. So. Lucky. It is our lucky day. So we have to look up all the time, try to find them. They must be in the upper part of the trees. And they like to eat uh, flowers, leaves, nuts, especially that tree. That's uh, their favorite one. Yeah. That one, the, its leaves, uh, the color is like um, uh, silver. It looks like a silver color. See, you see that one? That's her oh, favorite yeah. okay. one. Okay. Her favorite one. Right. So um, uh, they they travel around this. They don't move so fast because they they need to save their energy. They eat only you know leaves, so they have to save the energy. They have to say they don't travel long distance, only like 400 meters a day. 400 because their nutrition they don't eat uh, meat like right so they sleep most of the time yeah. they produce an a noisy howl that's why this its name howler monkey yes they make that noise uh, earlier in the morning and before going to sleep oh yeah during the day they, they are quiet uh, only their male makes the noise, the male. Yeah. This destruction of the habits mm -hmm. by, you know, like by logging the trees and, you know, damming the rivers, you know, that's the tr threat. Um, the animals like jaguar, jaguar, puma, eat them. Okay. And also like eagles. And the most dangerous is the human being. So it is a bright sunny day today, which is perfect because yesterday it was raining very heavily here in Finlandia. So now that the forest is refreshed and we have such a bright day, it's the perfect day to go out on this tour. The best time would be to try to take the morning tour because that is when the howler monkeys are most active and they're, and they're, howling, as, and they're howling more. So they howl in, in the morning and in the evenings. So that would be the best time if you want to hear them.
We just stepped on the trail here on the way to find the howler monkeys and I am absolutely blown away by the greenery around us. Colombia is very famous for its wet forests which basically resemble jungles as you can see here. It's like Jairo says, it's, uh, it's a rainforest environment. So it's rich in different species of animals, plants, flowers and all kinds of life. Sometimes they look at look at us, but try to be So this reserve is called the Barbas Reserve because Barba means beard in Spanish. So it's named after these trees and the beards that coat is these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trees here. This amazing rainforest. We just heard the first of the howler monkeys way off in the distance. You can hear them vocalizing. They seem a little far for now. We're still we're keeping our eyes peeled. See somewhere up on the trees. People have been uh, deforest, the, the, I mean the forest, deforestation, um, do just to, to grow cows, to breed cows mm -hmm. as a pasture, you know, activity. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So Jairo, our guide, has been saying that as we follow the river, the Barbas River, we're seeing pastures on one end and then on the other. So maybe a hundred years ago, or who knows how many, you know, years ago, this trend of 
logging and creating pastures where there was rainforest before it started. So now the howler monkeys are are reserved to this stretch of trees and rainforest that goes along the river. So just goes to show the impact, the real life impact that logging and industry and you know a lack of planning will have on wildlife and their lives. But fortunately the Colombian government has responded and they created this reserve and Jairo has been saying that even some of the local owners have been putting away some land to try and regrow some of the rainforest that was torn down. Yes, here in Finlandia is well known as an uh, handcraft town. Yes. People made out of uh, baskets, hats, hats, I mean, and lamps out of this material. Yes. This is a vine, uh, but this is uh, this is not it's not a it's tree. Uh, they help each other as a symbiosis. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it grows. And uh, when they need to use, they cut it on a halfway, and they have to peel it, dry it. And after it is dried, and when they need to use it, they have to make it wet again, just to make make it more flexible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very good. It's like smelling the first air ever created. It is so, so fresh and, and humid, which I feel might be good for the lungs. We're a little bit into the hike. We still haven't seen the monkeys. Of course, it's pretty hard to control if and when you see them. But we're keeping our hopes up. Keep looking atop the Cheruma trees, which is where all the monkeys live. So that because what they do is they lie still at this hour of the day against the tree to conserve energy. So by looking into those trees, we're hoping it seems there's thunder, possible rain. No We don't have a good vantage point, so we're gonna try to move. See if we can find a better angle to take video on some. Oh, some images. It's a little hard to get a clear shot of them when they're 
There's so much holy ash around you. It's absolutely beautiful to see them up there in the trees. They have the most beautiful reddish, orange fur. And it's so cute to see them just take shelter together in packs of family, small families. Just living, living in the rainforest. This is an amazing experience. I'm curious to know what other species of animals live in this beautiful, beautiful rainforest. <laughs> so beautiful. There's a lot of thundering. So maybe we just saw the howler monkeys in time before it starts raining and it becomes quite a different kind of adventure here in the rainforest. So we just emerged from the rainforest back into the pasture fields right outside of the forest that runs along the river. So we saw the whole monkeys right at the end of the trip which was perfect otherwise we wouldn't have caught them so i am so glad that we got to see it if you are traveling through finlandia this is definitely something that you have to do it has to be on your bucket list for the region 
it's something that is very unique and just interacting and connecting with nature is something that will make you feel connected to the land itself so definitely more than worth it I will be tracking there either by horse or by going home to a nice cold Colombian beer yes yeah, still nice beer if you like this video remember to like it drop a comment give it a like and remember to subscribe it helps our channel grow share this content or save it to one of your own playlists so that you have a list of things to do when you come to this region so we hope you enjoyed this adventure and the nature and the images that we brought to you until the next adventure. Adios muchachos.